What's going on guys? Um, so today we are working on Ryan's uh, FRS. Say hi Ryan. Hey guys. Um, and basically he currently has um, a unequal length Borla um, headers and catted downpipe. Is it Borla downpipe, right? Nameless. Nameless, oh, okay. So basically what is going on is uh, he said that when he gets into the higher RPMs and he's hitting it, it starts to turn really raspy. So we're doing a resonator reinstall because what he currently has is just a high flow cat, resonator delete, um, Corsa mufflers, and then the Borla headers like I was saying. And so basically he wants to switch to a resonator. So put resonators in and then keep everything else the same. Um, just kind of help tone down the raspiness um, so you keep more of a tone when he's hitting it. And uh, yeah, so we're going to install that, swap that out today. Um, do a comparison of what it sounds like currently with that setup and then also a um, comparison a couple clips of what it sounds like after the setup and we'll do a little bit of footage of during the install and everything like that it's going to be really straightforward just pulling off the mid pipe and um, just swapping them out so it's really simple straightforward um, it's a pretty easy job so yeah I uh, hope you guys enjoy You're buying me Krispy Kreme donuts, right? Because I'm helping you do this? Sure, where's Krispy Kreme? That way. <laughs> do you really think this is too loud? For your daily driving? It's not loud, it's just the rasp that goes on right at the end. Oh, yes. Whew. The lovely brown pipe. So you guys didn't know brown is faster. Because race car. Oh, you get a kissy for the beer while you're having the while you're doing the job. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, what you got? That red. Oh my god. <laughs> so far unboxing is not as fun as I was hoping. Unboxing is honest? more like untwirling. Huh? No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I feel bad because I just kind of started doing it and I was like, what's this shit? I probably should have asked. Oh my god. Yes, it is. Fuck, that's really weird looking. So basically, you got a guy, right? And he lost a nut <laughs> on his on his pipe. It also has a bit that's of swelling with. up near the bend. That's just, you know, a little, little... So we got an uncircumcised pipe with a missing nut. It's going to make the car sound good. <laughs> Having a ball is better than having no balls. <laughs> hey, he kept the one that works, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm totally gonna screenshot this for my thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as you can see, I'm working on the last bolt here for this pipe. Um, I already took that, the hanger, disconnected that. 
Here's the cat. Um, this one's pieced together in multiple pieces. The new one is all one single piece, so it's going to be a little interesting trying to snake it up in there. But not a big deal. And then we just dis disconnected on the headers. There's a gasket that came off. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where we're at real quick. I did, to get access to this, there was a heat shield. I pulled that off. Um, but yeah, no big deal. And um, yeah, so we're going to pull this off and then we're going to have a little fun and start it with just headers. Woo! All right, guys. So a quick little update. Um, I'm going to show you, attempt to anyways. Uh, so you see, I've got the jack stand sitting there. So there wasn't enough clearance. Uh, once I disconnected that bolt to pull the the pipe out because right here the flange was hitting on the motor and the uh, the K member so we had to actually jack the motor up a little bit which I did rednecky with the jack stand and the lift um, and once we did that and got enough clearance we were able to wiggle it out and yeah so now we put the motor back into its position because we're gonna start it with the open headers and see what happens yay race car <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. I told you it's ridiculous. <laughs> Woo! Right? <laughs> Uber fucking loud. That's why. All right, so I'm gonna show you the uh, new pipe. Yeah, so we actually had to run to the store and get different bolts, and I'll show you why in just a second. As soon as I get down into the car. I don't know why I washed my hands just now. Alright, so here we have the new pipe. You can see the resonator, big looking nut thing. And then, um, like I said, we had to, to lift the motor so we get clearance and everything, but we got that up in there. Um, the lineup is a little interesting the way it's all lined up but i've got it all bolted up now and um this was uh so i had to push this up to get that to line up and then pull it back down to line it up into this hanger bolt here um because the way the pipe is bent it wasn't quite lining up nicely but i managed to get it all back together and then you can see here this is the new bolt because the new pipe this hole for the the, the bolt is actually too small for the ones that were on the car so we've got new ones, and being that it's flush like that, those are the best ones we could find. We'd get the copper bolts, and I uh, put some Loctite on the um, on the bolt to try and eliminate any kind of loosening and anything like that. But everything's all bolted back together, and okay, I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, everything's bolted back together. I adjusted his tips to make this one straight like that one. And now we're gonna see what it sounds like on full start. So, whenever you're ready, man. How you doing? It's not gonna be loud this time. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he appreciates that. Ryan, they said you have a nice car. Thank you. <laughs> ready? Yep. Make sure the motor's warm first. You don't want to hurt it. It's very cold. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably so nice sitting here on the boat. First impressions. Go. Definitely a much better, much deeper than it was. Much. Yeah. It uh, it has the same sound. But it like, added a deep, a it, depth yeah, it changes the no, the tone of it a little it wasn't bit. Just high pitched. It was like legit depth. <laughs> yeah, that sounded good. I like it. Only thing to test now is to. Wham wham.
Unfortunately, the after footage stops there. Ryan had to run to work, so we weren't able to get any drive-bys or um, uh, in-car sound clips um, with the new resonator in there for the setup. So I'll try and get some content out there where you can see um, more of his car soon. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. In the meantime, guys, I appreciate it. And uh, keep your eyes open for some more of Ryan's car to be coming soon, among other things. Peace out. Catch y'all next time. Later. I was like, no! All the opportunity wasted!